We're back for another episode of Ask the Trainer. Today's question is coming from Michigan. And this person says, in the spring, I want to connect a soil moisture sensor to my existing conventional wire controller, but I don't want to have to run a two-hour cable all the way back to the controller. No need to do that. That would be a lot of extra work to trench from the soil moisture sensor out in the field all the way back to the controller if, if you're using conventional wire. In this instance, you get to use the conventional wire path to allow communication for your soil moisture sensor. So let's switch over to my desktop camera and we'll show you a few things on, on what that looks like. So here's our soil moisture sensor with our red and the black leads. So we're, first thing we're gonna do is install that soil moisture sensor the way we'd always would. So we're gonna set it on edge so it doesn't catch water as it moves by. We want the water moving by there. Um, and in the, in the active root zone. So that active root zone for turf um, is only a couple of inches of cover. So generally about uh, two to three inches of cover over the sensor in turf, a little deeper in other plant material, but we have those details online for installation of this. Once you've got your sensor installed, we need to run the wire back. Well, my demo has wire that's way too short. So here's what you get in the kit, right? So we get 50 feet of wire, we get the sensor, uh, DBR Y6 splice kit. So we have a nice waterproof splice and then stickers to help you locate and keep track of those serial numbers. So we've got 50 feet of wire to get it back to the nearest valve. Okay, now once we've got this back to the nearest valve, we're gonna take the red side and we're gonna connect that to the station wire. And the black side, we're gonna connect that to the valve common. Valve commons are sometimes white, but not always. So you're gonna to have to do a little bit of detective work. So station wire, common wire. Again, those installation details are coming. Those are in this in the bag as well with the sensor. So we've got it connected to the nearest valve with the DBRY6s. Now it's time to do some work back at the controller. So we're gonna set the sensor aside. And let's look at our power bicoder. Now power bicoder is, is how we address those conventional wire on a two wire controller. This is a 24 zone power bicoder. We've got A1 through 12 for the first half and then B1 uh, through 12 for the second half and then some two wire terminals as well here. So that red station wire is gonna come back to the board and then the common of course is just connecting to the common terminal. Here's an, here's an important part, right? We need to make sure that that station wire is connected into a few, one of a few specific terminals. A1 and A2 will work or B1 and B2 will work on the controller. Those are the only four terminals on this board that the controller is going to check for a soil moisture sensor. If I end up on B8 or A11, it won't be checking those terminals for soil moisture sensors. A1, A2, B1, and B2. So you might have to do a little bit of detective work, right? You might need to, to tone the wire or disconnect it and see what comes on or, or try a few things to make sure that you, you're connected to the right zone and the right polarity. So once I've connected that station wire to A1, A2, B1, B2, and the common of course is connected in, my wiring's done, okay? so. The next step to do is we're gonna update the sensor. So there's a small button right here. That's why there's this little cutout here. We're gonna press that button and that's to update the by sensor. And then we're gonna verify that the light between behind A1 or A2 or B1 and B2 comes on. So we can't quite see it, but hidden underneath here, there's a LED light for B1 and B2 and then over here on A1 and A2. There's a little LED light back there and once it's found that, that light will stay on. And then we, we know that it's found the soil moisture sensor on this terminal and it will be able to communicate with it. That's really all we have to do for the physical installation. The rest is configuration like we would with any other soil moisture sensor. And it's not, it doesn't matter if it's two wire or conventional wire. We'll assign, we'll do a primary um, or use it to start a program if it's on a, a base station 1000 um, and then set it up from there and then set your parameters for your soil moisture sensor. So that's all that's really involved with it. Yes, you can use your conventional wire. It makes a big difference uh, as far as running wire.